When it comes to the great Italian meal, all roads lead to Mama's Kitchen. Delicious Italian cuisine is not always found in a restaurant, but wherever hospitality, family recipes, and local ingredients come together. First stop, a look at the Home Food Organization. Started in 2004, this network of home cooks, now 200 strong, is bringing hungry diners out of the eateries and into the Italian home. My name is Elizabeth Hellman Keeley. I'm writing an article on home food, which is a cultural association that was founded in Bologna by a group of people who were very sad that a certain level of cooking was dying out in Italy. And this is the cooking that's going on in people's homes. Most people come to Italy and they go to restaurants and they have wonderful meals, but this isn't necessarily what people are eating at home. Home food invites tourists into people's homes all over Italy. Paola is a Sardinian woman who lives in Rome. She's lived here for about 25 years with her husband Carlo and raised her children here. And Paola is a passionate cook. We're going to go to the market and buy the things that she's going to prepare tonight. And she's going to explain to me the menu. And I'm going to get to watch her cook. This is one of the best markets in Rome. There's, there's women like Paola all over Italy that invite tourists into their homes to taste home cooking. It's really to share people like Paola's passion for food. Also to keep alive regional cooking cuisine. Ah, what kind of olives? Che tipo di olive sono? Di gaita. A di gaita. Per il cibo. Ah, these go in the pasta. Ah, gaita. So these come from south of Rome. So first, Paola's going to sauté some onions, and she's going to use the olives that we bought today in the market as well. Ah, she has to take each pit out of each olive. It's very time-consuming. She won't attempt, no? Her entire menu is not something you can just sort of throw together in a few minutes. Everything takes time, from the sourcing of the, of the ingredients to the, you know, hand shelling each and every olive to slowly browning the onions and the oil. Although Paula's told me about her menu for tonight, we never know really what's going to happen until we get to the market. This is the best artichoke vendor in the market, but as you can see, there's no artichokes, there's just melons today. So we're going to change the menu. Here in Italy, the people eat seasonal ingredients, and the menu, although you can plan your meal up to a certain point, you have to sort of depend on what's there in the market when we get there. I saw these zucchini, and they still had the fresh flour attached to them, so she's going to decide to take the flour off, stuff them and fry them, and then also take the zucchini and use those as well. This is not people who are opening a restaurant in their home homes. It's really a cultural type of association where they're trying to promote and preserve and teach people about regional Italian home cooking. We're going to go to the butcher to buy the rabbit for tonight. As far as I know, this Home Food Association is something that's just only in Italy, although it's needed all over Europe because these traditions are dying out. Hey, the zucchini we bought this morning. The zucchini that we bought this morning. Oh, wow. This morning. There's a zucchini that Paola dipped in a batter and deep fried them. Mm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Paola likes the fact that They've come into somebody's house, they've lived a different experience, and they take that with them, and in a sense, she's affected their lives. Although, since she's a Cesarina, and she obviously likes serving the food, and that's very gratifying, the fact that she's actually giving them memories to take home with them of an atmosphere, of a home, of new people, that's one of the fulfilling aspects of being a home cook. La, la pasta. Wow, che bella. Mm. Well, cheers. Mm. Yeah, cheers. Thank you. Da quando sono nate le cesarine? Dal inizio. I'm asking for it. 
How long has she been doing this for? Mm. She said since the beginning. Mm. Yeah. She's saying that it's always been a positive experience. <laughs> Two days ago, a nun from Tasmania came to eat here. <laughs> a cheese ma a cheese making nun. <laughs> Everybody always likes the pasta, it's one of her strong dishes. And uh, the rabbit was good too, and maybe the dessert that everybody liked the best. It's, I mean, the combination of the, the fruits sort of steamed. Isn't it great with the honey? Yeah. So what is it like eating in somebody's house versus eating in a restaurant? <laughs> so you serve yourself. Much better. What a company is wonderful. And it's just so much warmer and, and more interesting. And well, and, and better. The you know, food? It, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Paula. Compagnia, man, can mangiare meglio. The solito, no. Qualcuno di casa, ma. Paula doesn't know her guests until the moment they walk through the door. It's a surprise for both the guests and for Paula. Se ci ruba. Mi porta a Poli. He's saying, think of the people who come to houses, they're strangers. What if they rob you? <laughs> it takes a lot of courage to come into a house of a stranger. And also a lot of courage on the part of the host. And... <laughs> When they go to a restaurant, the food might be different, might be better. <laughs> but it's the atmosphere that they're going to remember, the conviviality, the warmness, and that's what they'll take back with them.